All right, everybody, and we are back. Here we are in topic six, DQ two. This probability, this uh, DQ is about probability. We're going to have some fun here, okay? So, we want to look at probabilities, combinations, permutation, odds, all those things in this particular Excel sheet. So let's take a look at our goals. All right, we want to use the counting formulas and we want to note when to use permutations and when to use combinations. We want to know how to compute probabilities and events using counting, and we want to convert probabilities to odds. All right, let's do that. So here are several different events we're taking a look at, everybody. Let's just look at the first example together right here in the top. I'll go through this with you guys, then I'll look at an example that we can do together. So here we are. We have 30 horses in the Kentucky Derby. The exact bet involves picking the first two finishers in order. All right, in order. Determine the number of outcomes. First of all, everybody, this is a permutation because order matters. All right. The order matters in which the horses finish the race. Therefore, this is a permutation. So we type in the word permutation here. Okay. What are we doing? The next step says, what are we doing? We are going to pick two out of three horses, which finish in order. All right. So then the question says, well, how many ways could we do that? There are 870 different ways that you could have two horses finish, right? Any two horses, there are 870 ways that can be done. Well, how do I pick the game to win? To pick the game to win, I must get the first and the second horse correct. All right, the first and the second. All right, let's keep going. All right. What are the number of ways that you can win? There's only one way you can win this race, right? You must pick the first and the second horse in order. Therefore, there's only one way to do it. All right. And the probability, everybody, is now uh, the formula you guys can see right up here in the Excel sheet. I'm going to circle it for you. Right. Here's the formula. F13 divided by D13. That is 1 divided by... 870 okay using the cells it's f13 divided by d13 and then you can see the probability there is a 0.1145 percent right not a very high percentage what are the odds against you winning that is the odds are 869 to one that means there is one way you can win there are 869 ways you can lose all right All right, so let's keep going. Now, it says up here, if your answer is correct, it will show green. Otherwise, you will see red. Yeah, you'll be upset, and the answer will be wrong, okay? So let's keep going down here. In a lottery game, 60 numbered ping pong balls are put in a bin, and they are randomly chosen to win the jackpot. You need to match all four numbers in order in which they were drawn. Did everybody here say order? Did you guys hear that? In order drawn. Therefore, this is a permutation. Okay, it's a permutation. It is red, but I would hit enter. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. So it is correct. It is a permutation. All right. What do I have to do? The instructions. What do I have to do? I have to pick what? I have to pick five numbers in order to order to win this. That's what I have to do in order to win this lottery. All right. This is a. Oh, I'm back up here. Yeah, there we are. This is a permutation. So I'm going to use the equals equals permute function all right equals permute and how many items are in this case there are 60 in this 
and I need to pick four of them, right? So I need to pick four numbers in order that they were drawn. So I got to pick the four in the order they were drawn from 60. All right, when I hit enter, you can see my answer is correct. It says there are, wow, that's a bunch, right? 11,703,240 different ways to do that. All right, once we get over here, everybody, how many ways are there to win this? I have to pick them all in order, right? Therefore, there's only one way to do this. All right, that is correct. And the probability, remember what that was, everybody? That was equals, all right, the number of ways you can win divided by the total number of ways possible to win. And there I hit enter, and you can see that's almost totally unlikely, right? Almost totally unlikely that I will win. All right, and down here, I can calculate the formula easily. Type equals. equals open my parentheses then i want one minus p right one minus p close parentheses close parentheses divided by p say okay? just use my cells one minus p divided by p hit enter so the odds against me winning are 117 million right or 11,703,239 to one that I lose, all right? Let's do one more here, then we're gonna go. All right, in a lottery game, 40 numbered ping pong balls are put in a bin and five are randomly chosen. You'll get twice your money back if you pick exactly three of the five numbers. Still using the same number of outcomes as, as the game above. Choosing five different ping pong balls from 40. Determine the probability of matching three of the five. I don't have to match them in order. I don't have to match any particular three. I just have to match any of the three. All right. Since there is no order here, this is a combination. All right. I guess I got to spell correctly. That would help, wouldn't it? All right. So combination. And how do I win this? Column C, I simply choose any of the three from the five winning numbers. That's all I got to do. All right. This is a combination. So I'm going to use the equals come bin, right? Equals come bin. And what do I want to choose there? I want to choose from the 40, I want to choose three of them, right? From the 40, I choose three. And there we go. No, I'm not choosing three. I'm sorry, everybody. It's five. I'm choosing five. All right. There we go. I am choosing five of them. All right, so we're good to go now. From the 40, there are five that can be chosen. I want to choose three of them exactly. All right, so now here, describe how you win. You win by simply picking correctly three out of any of the five. Okay, that's how you win. All right, let's do this. What are the total number of ways that I could possibly win? Let's think about this. There are five to choose from that I want to choose three, okay? That means two of them I'm not going to choose correct. Ever right, everybody? All right, so let's see what I need to do. From the five, so let's start with the equals. I need a combination. All right, from the five, I need to choose three correctly. Now, everybody... Some of those will be not correct, right? Some of them will not be correct. So I also have to count how many ways I could get them wrong, right? How many ways could I get them wrong? 
Well, how many are left to choose from? There were 40, so there are 35 left to choose from. And of those, I would choose two, right? In other words, I'm choosing 35 from the, I'm sorry, I'm choosing two from the 35 that are wrong. I'm choosing three from the five that are correct. And I got to do the product of the two, okay? And there are 5,950 ways I could do that. Once again, what am I doing here? Just to ref uh, refresh this. Okay, I am choosing three from the five that are correct. I then also will be having two from those that are not correct. That makes sense to everybody. All right. The probability up here is the same. I can just copy this probability. I could just copy this and drag it down if I wanted to, right? I can copy this formula, drag it down. Obviously, those are not correct because they're not filled in. All right, you guys can see this probability of winning is very high, right? Compared to the others, 0.9%, right? Almost 10% probability. So the odds are 110 to one against me winning this, but way better than the others, right? Okay, so I have filled out the most complicated one. You can see this one right here is the most complicated one, the one we just did. This guy is the most complicated. This one was one, that's one. The others may be one as well. Just go down through there and take a look. All right, let's see what else we've got going on over here. All right, here interpretates interprets the odds. It says your odds of winning are 869 to 1. Your odds of winning are 11 million, right, to 1. Your odds are 110 to 1. That looks like the best one, doesn't it? Hmm. All right, everybody. It's been fun. Probabilities, combinations, permutations, odds, all the good things going on here. I'm going to dip out of here for now, guys. I will see you in the forum. Take care and have fun.